I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making green pea pasta. Delicious, right? So I have a bunch of ingredients and I'll just talk you through as we go. So first I have a high sided skillet. I've already turned it on. It's about medium to medium high heat. You always want to heat up your pan, your skillet, whatever you're using on the stove before you put in that oil. So hot pan, cold oil. So now I'm going to put in a little bit of olive oil there. And then the first thing we're going to do is saute some diced onions. So those go into the pan like so. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there. That salt will help to leach out the water and they'll cook a little bit faster, maybe get a little bit browner quicker. And then next up, we're going to have a few things here. We have sliced up prosciutto, which is essentially a type of ham. I have a bunch of green peas and we have some whole milk or half and half. You can also use heavy cream if you want a little bit of a richer dish, but kind of the whole milk, if you want it a little bit less fat, the half and half is a nice happy medium and then a little bit richer on the heavy cream side. So once these get softened a little bit, we will add those in. So we have also prepared ahead. This is whole wheat spaghetti. You can also use regular spaghetti. And we reserved a cup of that pasta water. So it's starchy and we're gonna use it to thicken our sauce, which is really a great trick. So anytime you're making pasta and then a homemade sauce, it's a really good idea to keep some pasta water on the side and use it as a natural thickening agent for that sauce. Okay, so these are looking translucent. Nice, I'm gonna turn the heat down a little and I'm gonna first add in that prosciutto. Kind of move it around a little bit. It might start to crisp up a little bit, which is great. And then we're gonna add in our milk. And you can see it's gonna start to boil a little bit. Turn that heat down. And then we just wanna mix everything together here. And we really just want those peas and everything to get warmed through a little bit and let those flavors really meld together. We'll let that sit there for a second. Next we have lemon, which I love. So I love lemon juice and lemon zest. It adds a brightness. I love citrus in my food. It's gonna also cut through. If you did use that half and half or that heavy cream, that acid will cut through the fat a little bit. So we have lemon juice and in here we have the zest of a lemon also with some more salt and some ground black pepper. So that's gonna go in here as well. And we're just going to mix that all together. And now, here's where this dish really starts to come together. So we have some, our reserved pasta water, and we also have some grated Parmesan cheese. So we're going to add in that cheese. Make sure it all gets mixed in there. And then, so you can see we have kind of a little bit of a sauce forming, but I'm going to turn that heat up and I'm going to add some of this reserved pasta water. And we want to make sure it starts to simmer or even bubble a little bit because that will help it to start to thicken and activate those starches 
and really mix with all of the other ingredients. Then we're gonna add in our pasta. Okay, so the pasta's in there, everything's in there. I'm just gonna mix everything together well and make sure it's all heated through and that the sauce and peas and everything else is integrated well. Okay, turn it off, we're gonna get our bowl. Beautiful. And then we wanna make sure we get all this goodness in there. Put some extra peas in there. Some of that prosciutto. All right. So there you have it, my green pea pasta. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.